Sydney is a city of beaches. Uh, right now I'm here at uh, a beach near my house. It's South Cronulla Beach and it's one of the most vibrant part of uh, the people who live in the area. I've lived in Sutherland Shire for close to about 17 years and I love this area. Mainly because of its beaches, the breezes, the evenings, the mornings, the jogs and the walks. So let's explore this area and see what the hype is all about. Let's check it out. If you're coming to Cronulla by driving, then find Croydon Street car park. It's all shaded, multi-level, and there's disability parking spots here as well. Once you've parked here, you can take the steps down into the main town center, have a bit of a lunch, and then walk on to the main North Cronulla beach as it's shown over here. And then you can start your Esplanade walk all the way up to Bass and Flinders Point. Today I'm at North Cronulla beach. This beach is one that is very close to me and in, in fact this is one of the first beach that I ever came to when I came to Australia. I used to work in Sutherland Hospital. That was actually my first job here in Australia as a registrar and emergency. The thing that I like about this beach is it's entirely walkable. Here at South Cronulla Beach and as you can see it's a very busy day because it's a hot day and there's lots of activity going on. This is where what I call the most of the vibrant part of Cronulla is. Even though it's a small beach but because there's a cafeteria there, there's a Cronulla pavilion, there's a surf life safe club which has been recently renovated. Also you know a very beautiful park over here which makes it ideal spot for the families to come in for a walk and always there's some sort of activities going on as you can see so much uh, much better place to hang on one of the other things that I like about uh, you know Cronulla Beach or for any other beach in this in Sydney is that some of the amazing walk formation you can see that behind me, some of these rocks are actually quite quite old and that gives a really nice and very natural character to these rocks as you can see uh, that. Uh, there's a lot of development which is going behind it up and then there's a lot of beach activity going on with surfing, swimming. There's also some divers here. I don't know if you can see and appreciate that. This point is known as Cronulla Point, which is quite a elevated area where you can see all the way up to the back. That's the sand dunes. All the way behind the palm tree, there's a sand dunes area. And then you can also have a look at North Cronulla Beach and obviously the South Cronulla Beach. It's a very good breezy area and perfect day for walking. You can see there's a walk which is known as very famous Esplanade Walk, which goes all the way up to the past Flinders Point. The other thing that I like about Cronulla on a bright sunny and breezy day is the colors of the beach and the sea can be amazing. Here you can see a very crystal clear beach with green, aqua green, turquoise and deep blue color. Here you see a point called as Shark Point which is a little shark island with good waves formation. It's very popular amongst the surfing community who you can still see some of the surfers out there practicing. And uh, there's some big waves which are formed over here. Apparently these are one of the best uh, waves in the Sutherland Shire area where you can have a lot of surfing and excitement coming from that sort of activity. I think walking is also about experiencing the local native flora and fauna and one of the things which fascinates me is these very very tall Norfolk Island pine trees and as you can see they are really very tall. They can go up to 10 meter and these are certainly going past that building. Uh, they really sway beautifully during uh, the natural breeze and somebody must have planted them years ago and they now form a beautiful part of the scenery. Uh, by the ocean and it's just majestic to see them.
Now just behind me is one of Sydney's hidden gems. Well, at least it was for me up until five or six years when I moved into this area. This is a Shelley's Beach Park and the reason it's called Shelley's Beach Park, obviously it's at the beach and it's quite uh, a good park. Uh, there's some cafes right out on the street. There's also a walking way all the way from the top of the road down to here. Um, and then it has also got a children's play area right at the top there and then obviously it's close to the very beautiful beach it's got some nice sitting areas some rock formations and some beautiful accessible rock pools further up the line as well and uh, this is still very much a part of Esplanade Walk which uh, I am walking on it obviously, uh, obviously goes all the way up to Bass and Flinders Point which is the far end of the walk and where this walk finishes. But this walk is actually quite long. I think at least four or five kilometers long all the way up from Bass and Flinders Point all the way up to the sand dunes. And you can pretty much walk the entire place even if you've got wheelchair on your foot. And it may take you an hour or two for complete for someone like me who hasn't got that much stamina. All right, I hope you really, uh, I really wish you can come over here and enjoy and have a look at this beach for yourself. Um, I play a lot of soccer with my son here. Um, we spend weekends over here and there's some, as I said, very nice rock pools out there which are very accessible. These are some of the very old houses. So you can see over here a very modern house. There's some construction going on a new house and some of the very old houses right by the beach. Some of the houses you can see are in a bit of a state because obviously it's a sea breeze here. It can be very moist, promotes rust, mold. And as you can see, this house is actually in quite a bit of a condition. Needs some serious repairs done, but they're obviously living. Very basic fence. I'm pretty sure it's at least a 50 years old. You can see that. <laughs> Good enough to be a heritage building. Then there are houses here which are very opulent and very well maintained and I have some of the houses here by the beachfront can be up to 20 million. Another hidden gem or hidden spot, this is called Oak Park and behind me is Oak Park Pavilion. Um, this is at the far end of the Esplanade Walk toward the Bass and Flinders Point and it's a beautiful park as you can see lots of fern trees, palm trees and this park tends to get very busy during the holiday season but this is not very much visited by people because they get tired by the time they come to this point. We are now in the Cronulla town centre and this is a park uh, where the Anzac Day ceremonies are held. I like Cronulla town centre because it presents with a small country town centre yet it's get, uh, got all the facilities. What we are having in front of us is Cronulla train station which goes all the way from here to the central Sydney station. So it's quite accessible from that point of view. Uh, and now we are heading on towards the Cronulla Beach CBD and it's got all the routine high stores and shops. Uh, apart from McDonald actually, <laughs> there used to be a McDonald, but there's no more McDonald's there, but there's standard fish and chip shops, as you can see over here. But the food quality, I must say, is excellent. So I'm finally back at my car. Uh, as doctor, we lead a very busy life and I think we tend to life sort of get slip away. This morning when I woke up, uh, I saw the weather is quite windy and I thought, oh, I can't go to Kronala Beach because it's that windy. Then it's not much point going there and the wind is just going to completely blow away all the noise and it might not be a good video. Uh, but then I thought, what the heck, I'll just go anyway. And I was just getting coming out of the car. I even torn my shirt here. Uh, trying to remove the tag so you know and I forgot my hat in all that blazing sun so the odds were against me uh, they're all I guess stacked up against me but I didn't sort of give up and I thought no I'm gonna go for a walk and complete this wheel off at least for a sort of an experiment and I'm glad that I did that 
at least it will become my memory and my reflection because I've enjoyed this walk over the years for so many different times. Uh, uh, and walking here with uh, so many friends, family members and making some really nice good memories. So I hope you enjoy uh, this uh, mini walk down the Esplanade in Cronulla. And if you're in Cronulla or in Sutherlandshire, uh, send me a message uh, or hit me a comment below and we would like to catch up for a coffee. Take care and look after yourself.